Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. Tricks, traps and blunders. Let's start. D4, D5, the Queen's Gambit, the Slav Defense, Knight to C3, Knight to F6, Bishop to G5, Knight to E4, Knight takes on E4, D takes on E4, E3, intending to develop the bishop, perhaps. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Black played the move and white resigned and the move is queen to a5 check. White resigned. Next game. d4, d5, c4. The queen's gambit, but now e5. Albin counter gambit. d takes on e5. d4. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. g3. Bishop to f5. White to move. Perhaps bishop to g2 should have been considered. Or maybe a3. Instead, player with the white pieces played knight from b to d2. Black to move. Black played a move and white resigned and the move is knight to b4. White resigned. Perhaps white could have tried queen to a4 check, but then after c6, White still has a problem defending c2 square. Next game. d4, d5, c4, the queen's gambit, e5, the albin counter gambit again, d takes on e5, d4, knight to f3, bishop to e6, knight takes on d4, Bishop to c5, knight to b3, perhaps e3 should have been considered. Knight to b3 was played, attacking the bishop. What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do? Black played a move and white resigned, and the move is bishop takes pawn on f2 or check. White resigned in view of this continuation. King takes bishop, queen takes a queen. Next game. d4, d5, c4, e6, the queen's gambit declined, knight to c3, knight to f6, pinning the knight from b to d7, c takes on d5, e takes on d5, white to move. How would you continue? Should white play e3? or win the pawn on d5. What would you do? Play with the white pieces, capture the pawn. Black to move. Should black play bishop to e7, or maybe there is another move. Black play the move when white resigned, and the move is knight takes knight. White resigned in view of this continuation. Bishop takes queen. Bishop to b4, check. Queen to d2. Bishop takes queen, check. And after king takes bishop, king takes bishop. Black is better materially. Next game. d4, e5, the England gambit. d takes on e5. Knight to c6, defending the pawn. More pressure on the pawn. White added one more defender. Queen to b4, check. Queen to d2. Queen takes on b2. Black is threatening to capture the rook. White solved the problem with queen to c3. Did white solve the problem? Or create more problems? Black played a move and white resigned and the move is Bishop to b4. White resigned. Next game. d4, knight to f6, c4, d6, knight to f3, knight to c6, knight to c3, bishop to g4, 
d5, knight to e5, white to move. How would you continue? Perhaps knight takes on e5 is not a bad move. g3 is not a bad move. Player with the white pieces played knight to d2, intending f3 and e4. Black to move. How would you continue? Black played the move and white resigned and the move is knight to d3 check. White resigned in view of this continuation. Pawn takes knight, bishop takes queen. Next game. d4, d5, e4. The black ma dima gambit. d takes an e4, knight to c3, e5. Queen to e2. Well, why don't I like this continuation? d takes on e5 and then queen takes queen. But perhaps knight from g to e2 should have been considered. Queen to e2 was played. Queen takes on d4. Queen takes on e4. Play with the black pieces played. Bishop to b4. Pinning the knight. Bishop to d2 and pinning. Black to move. How would you continue? Black play the move and white resigned and the move is Bishop takes knight, the defender of the queen. Play with the white pieces resigned in view of this continuation. Queen takes queen, bishop takes queen. What else? If bishop takes bishop then it's even worse. Did any of these tricks and traps happen in your games? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.